Now, Prime Minister Theresa May has decided that there will be a huge parade in Manchester to celebrate Team GB's success. But should the celebrations be held there or in the capital? Well, to discuss this further, I'm joined by Darrell Morris, who's a radio presenter based in Manchester, and Dean Scoggins, who's um, Deputy Head of Sport at Sunsport. Thank you both so much for joining us tonight. And um, Dean, Olympic celebrations have been held in the capital after the last three games. Are you a little bit upset that the decision's been changed this time round? Um, I think upset's probably a little bit far, but yeah, I think I think it should be in London. I mean, um, I think obviously Manchester has been a, a hotbed of sport and uh, a place where a lot of uh, gold medals winners have come from, the velodrome, um, all the cyclists are all based in Manchester. But what we should be looking at here, really, in my view, is that the place where the most people can enjoy um, and celebrate with the athletes on their homecoming. And we saw the incredible things that happened in London after, after the London 2012 Games. And um, for, for me, it should be in London this time around so that the, the maximum number of people can enjoy the event. Darrell, what do you say to that? Is it about getting the maximum number of people to actually enjoy the Olympics team coming back to, to, to the UK? Uh, there's plenty of people up here, don't worry about that, uh, here in what is the cultural uh, centre of the universe, Manchester, no doubt. I mean, we are home to two of the most prolific football clubs uh, in the world, host to one of the greatest Commonwealth Games uh, ever held. And uh, from the investment in the infrastructure that came from that, we have been the driving force behind Great Britain's success uh, and sporting prowess at these Olympics. There's absolutely no question about that. I mean, the velodrome just down the road from where I am in Manchester right now has been uh, the greenhouse from which Jason Kenney and Laura Trott have grown, two of the nation's uh, most successful sporting uh, heroes. We've got the best cycling facilities in the world. Uh, we only narrowly lost out on hosting the Olympics here ourselves in 1996 and, and 2000. I mean, the rules of football uh, were one of the biggest sporting industries now in the world were agreed and signed just a few uh, a few. Whoops, looks like we kind of lost him there. But Dowell, he was putting forward a very good sales pitch. I mean, would you say Manchester is the is the cultural epicenter? Uh, I don't, sorry. Well, I, I, sorry, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't agree that it's the cultural epicenter. I think um, when you look down the list of, of where all the medals have come from, we shouldn't forget that um, a lot of the GB team GB gold medal winners were actually born overseas, but are now um, are now British citizens. Um, there were winners from the home counties, the winners from Kent and Essex. The you know Yorkshire are always way up there in the medal table. So there is an argument for for lots of different places and where the medal winners have come from. We saw both the Brownlee brothers, for example, you know, are training Leeds and li live in Yorkshire. Um, but I, just for me, the, the, the scale of the event, um, the infrastructure that needs to be in place, the travel, the transport, the hotels, the number of people that really, really want to just to, to celebrate with these athletes. And, and we, you know, there were millions of people on the streets of London for the, uh, for the London 2012 celebration. And uh, I'm sure Manchester will put on a fantastic show. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But I I, um, I doubt it can be on the level that, uh, that London would do. OK, well, it looks like we've got Darrell back. And, um, Darrell, we've just had Dean saying, yeah, you had great sales pitch, but it's not going to quite match up to London. And, indeed, we've had the um, Labour leadership contender, Owen Smith, saying he thinks the move's a little bit tokenistic. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I think the, uh, both are wrong. Uh, you know, I think that London will get its own event. Let's not forget that will happen. Uh, but like I, I was saying, I mean, this is a, a recognition not only of T, uh, Team GB's immense success in Rio. I think I've cried every day so far uh, over these Olympic Games. But for Manchester's players as well as the nation's second city, I think now, there's no question about that. You know, I like Birmingham. Uh, it's a nice place. I've driven through it. It's got a Greggs. But Manchester is uh, a progressive uh radical city which has grown which is the is, is the the greenhouse from which team gb success has grown and i think it's also worth remembering as well that manchester is the birthplace of the industrial revolution the vegetarian society formed in 1847 here uh, the reason that laura trot can become the, uh, the the most decorated female british cyclist of all time uh, thanks in no part to the suffragette movement uh, in no small parts to, to the suffragette movement which was bought which was uh, formed in uh, 1903 in uh, here uh, by uh, Moscow sides uh, uh Emmeline Pankhurst uh, our, our science you know the, the the birth of the modern computer for example uh, we have just down the road in Jodrell Bank uh, a, 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 a telescope s uh, scouring space uh, Manchester will find uh, space uh, life outside of, of 
earth if it exists and uh, this is one of the greatest cities in the world and we're going to be celebrating that in this parade as well and i think that theresa may uh, makes a great point uh, of that that this isn't just about that kind of success it's about how that success uh, is bred and i think it's also worth mentioning mentioning manchester's investment in sport particularly post commonwealth games um, and how that has not only bred this success for team gb but the way in which that brings people out of poverty and on a serious note and gives them choices and chances that we all deserve regardless of wealth color and creed uh, we have led the world and we are reaping the benefits of that now uh, at the olympics in rio and uh, it's time for a parade through the streets of that greenhouse OK, Darren Morris, um, with that argument, which included it's got a Greg, we'll leave it there. And um, Dean Scoggins, thanks both so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. No problem.